Hello everyone, my name is Mario. On this video, I'm going to show you how to use the drawing tools on Pear Deck. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so to start, we're going to go by um, by just writing the default one, which is this line right here. So that's the pencil here. So um, you can always change the thickness, and right now I'm going to erase it. Okay, so I'm going to just show you the tools that uh, we have here. This is the undo, and this one is to clear the whole screen. This is the eraser, this is the text. So if you wanna type any text, you can put it in there. This is a line here. And on the far left, we have the, um, on the far left, we have the pencil here. So when you first put it, uh, this is how you change the, the size. So when you first put it, uh, I mean, if you put it this size, it's gonna be so thick, right? So you wanna change it and you wanna make sure that you click the little box so that um, you can change the size of the pencil or the highlighter or the line. Okay, so this one is saying draw or type two things uh, you already know about factoring. So I know that x squared plus bx plus c is the general format. Okay, I also know that I can write it in this form. So if I want to factor, I'm going to write it as x plus p and x plus q. Okay. So that's the pencil. That's one of the main tools that um, we're going to use. Here's the highlighter. I'm highlighting the B there, so the middle term. I can type some text right here with this letter T. So I'm going to put uh, P plus Q. I'm going to make this a little bigger there. And uh, I'm going to put right here P plus Q equals to B. Okay. So I'm gonna write that there, and I'm actually just gonna leave this box right there, okay? Uh, so now I'm going to show you how to change the size, okay, of this one. You cannot just grab it and make it big, okay? <laughs> uh, so instead what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go here and we're gonna click on the text, okay? Um, so once you click on this text here, you can type anything that you want, and then you click on the size here and change the size. So here we go. Um, I'm going to start by typing uh, X plus P here, let me close parentheses, and I'm actually going to make this one uh, lowercase uh, P, so there we go, so X plus P, highlight it, click Sizer, and now you can move it up, right, so I can move it up, I can expand it, and I can make it smaller, right, so here for this one, um, I can actually um, also add x square. Okay, so you guys just type the number two here. Okay, I type the number two, and then I can change the size right here. Right, so that's a little too small. Maybe I'll make it about this size. That's pretty good. So then I move it, and I'll drop it in there. If you think it's a little small, make it a little bigger. Right. So there we go. About that size. What do you guys think? That's pretty good, right? So I think that size is good. So that's x plus p square. Okay. Um, now, if you prefer to just write it, right, you can grab the pencil tool here. Uh, so, you write the pencil and then you can put x plus p, uh, x plus p square, right? But, you know, if you want to type it, you can use the little trick that I just showed you. Put the little tool there, all right? And we can actually do a line as well. So, this line if you're doing geometry, you have a triangle right there. You can use the highlighter here. Let's choose the color yellow and just, you know, it's not... A painter but we can actually use it to to color the inside of the triangle okay and uh, and that's the eraser there you can erase it okay you can undo and that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching um, is and uh, please go ahead and give it a like and share this video with others here's also the um, uh, thick line right there but that's pretty much it um, we'll see you guys in the next video